Alrighty, let's get back to Lord of the Rings. You might suggest Hemsworth River Song to see the encounter card coming up. Well, that's not ominous at all. Alrighty, so cool. New stuff. New stuff. What happened? I just got back. Uh, Beast No? We crushed it. You missed. Kind not at risk of sounding braggadocious. That deck was stupid. The deck was stupid good. Um, did, didn't stand a chance. You missed a glorious victory. It will sing our names in Valhalla. Wait, no, that's not the right. Ah, whatever. <laughs> uh, why do I see three scoop counters? You're right. We have moved on to the next quest, so we'll take that down to zero. But, yeah, so we finished with the other one. I just wanted to push that through, get... Ideally a clean victory. Hopefully that was a clean victory and we're gonna be playing the next one, which is what is this one? the weathered hills So as we're sleeving this why are there so many ones? Oh, these are this is not the weathered hills it is This is dead men's dyke That makes sense alrighty, so 1a you uh, you've pursued, oh, we'll actually read the story again. We'll read the story again because, or for our first time. So set orc ambush and aim and form a side out of play. Create the orc deck ugh, and set it aside. The quest deck, make exposed ridge the active location at hunting the orcs and one weather top. Jeez, there's a lot to start out with, right? The first weather treachery card gains surge. After the active location is explored, reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it was just revealed from the encounter deck. Reveal the top two cards if there are three more players in the game. After Savage Counterattack enters play, advance to stage 2A. Oh, I see what. So you're probably shuffling this into the orc. No, you're not. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out. Let's just leave. Um, okay, so Weathered Hilltop is what is starting in play. Gets plus one threat for each resource token on it. And after a Weather Treachery is revealed, place one resource here. We got to get rid of those. That's going to get nasty real quick. Also, I mean, Lord Glorfindel works well with Elrond. Their abilities play off. Oh, I don't even remember what Lord Glorfindel is. Interesting. Yeah. No, Gladriel and Elrond work really, really well together. Attacking enemy gets plus one fight for each damage character that... that. Huh. Sheltered Valley is actually a good card. It gets, we get to heal whenever we explore it. Concealed Orc... There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, locations here. While it's the active location, it gains response while concealed... Our camp is explored. Place one resource token on the mission objective. How is this one? Is this one a tough? Is this tough? Is this a tough one? I actually didn't. I forgot to look. He allows you to spend a resource to heal a damage on a character. Oh, yeah. Elrond increases that damage. That's nice. Yeah. Or that heal. Each player assigns X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quest cards in play, then exhausts each damage character. That's gross. And we got a quest card here. Surge time four. Oh, time's back. Good. We got to get rid of that. Uh, and we are going to be playing with the. Oh, actually, some of these. We're playing with all the axes. Okay, uh, the rainy clouds. Deal X damage. There's a lot of deal X damage among characters. Um, so we're going to have to. I like the Hemsworth 
being able to see what's coming, being able to plan for it. Doom 2, remove each damaged character from the quest. Oh, gross. Yeah, don't don't love that. This one is tough. <laughs> oh, good. Each player deals one damage to a hero control is attached cold for Magmar to the current quest. Counts as a condition. Treat the each damaged character as if they're a blank. Hey. Hey, Gandalf can stay forever. And make camp. Surge characters cannot be healed. After make camp is defeated, each player heals up to three damage from a hero he controls. Alrighty, interesting. And we need. Runes of Armor. After the win revealed of effect of a treachery is cancelled, rage each player threat by two. I hate that. That's gross. Is this Agmar then? So yes, it's it's tough. Uh yeah, so this is the Weathered Hills, the second quest in the the Agmar Awakens. Lots of weather treachery, so try and get those test of wills to help. Cool. There's a lot of stuff that deals with threats, so maybe actually keeping Glorfindel around is maybe a better call than Gandalf. But I want to play Gandalf. I want to play Gandalf. Um, trying to think of a Rohan deck through Agmar, but I don't know if I want to torture you, so <laughs> Nice. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and figure out how to make this orc deck. Find our insert real quick. I wonder how many of those have collot have calluses on our fingers and weird spot from sleep. Oh yeah. It's definitely like a, a muscle memory at this point. Alrighty, so the lost realm will read the story as well. The Weathered Hill, it's only a difficulty level of five. Can't be that hard, right? The orc deck represents the scattered orcs among the Weathered Hills that the heroes must find and destroy. To create the orc deck, remove each enemy card uh, with the Agmar orcs encounter set icon, as well as all copies of concealed orc camp from the encounter deck, and shuffle them into a separate deck. This is the orc deck. Can do. I think that's the, I think that's this symbol. And then all copies of Concealed Orc Camp. When a card from the Orc deck leaves play, it's placed in the Encounter Deck discard pile. The Orc deck runs out of card, ignores any effects that refer to the Orc deck. And, okay, so, I guess I don't understand this. Here we are. Add hunting the orcs. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, after an enemy is defeated, place one resource token here. Then, if there are at least X resource tokens here, flip hunting orcs and place each resource token on. That was on it on Savage Counter. X is three more than the number of players in the game. And Savage Counterattack, after it enters play, advance to 2A. After an enemy attacks and destroys a character, discard one resource token from Counterattack. If there are no resource token here, the players lose the game. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't like that. That's tough. Hmm. We'll, we'll try it with Gandalf and stuff. But also having a really good defender like uh, Baragond probably works really well here. Rohan deck, and this would be fun to try. Nice. This quest out at 20. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, let's go ahead and keep these two. I do want to try this with Gandalf, just because I want to try a Elrond Gandalf, just because of how much, uh, just how much you can do there. I'm going to leave this open so I can remember to read the story. Um, let's just take out everything that's going to refer to Glorfindel or Gandalf. 
Honestly, Light of Valinor still works with Elrond. We'll put that in a second pile, but we can't have Gandalf in the deck with Gandalf. We'll take those out. I had one build for Agmar, then decided it didn't make sense with a bunch of mounts on ships. <laughs> yeah, like Ensign, Eagles, and Moria, just not quite right sometimes. Yeah, right? I had another Gandalf in here, right? Is I only running two Gandalfs? I meant to run three. Huh. Yeah, I was only running two. Okay, so... Gandalf comes with a lot of toys that he needs to bring to the table. Dream Chasers, not Agmar. Yeah. Yellow card just came on, and I like yellow card a lot. Gandalf, that 14 threat. What's the worst that could happen, right? So Gandalf, see a Glorfindel. Uh, and then Gandalf is going to need to grab his Wizard's Pipe. Sauce Wizard Pipe to exchange a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. That also means we don't really need Gildor. Gildor is still good. We just don't need him as much. And so we'll cut him to make room, I think, for other characters. I think we're only running one of him. Yeah. We may cut out the Ents as well. And then we also need Gandalf's staff. So we're going to take both a... We're going to take two Wizard's Pipes, two Gandalf staffs. Um, We're only going to take one Wizard Pipe and two Gandalf staffs. With the Stargazers, we can get it if we need it. Um, oh, that's Gandalf. I need Gandalf's staff. Maybe we don't get Gandalf's staff. Oh, there it is. We could also grab Bilbo to help find the wizard's pipe a little bit easier. And Bilbo is just also a good character to have in because he can glam drink. Gandalf is going to swing at stuff in your mind. I don't think I have a non-fellowship Gandring. Gandring. I, I, I thought that the Glamdring was... Like, I have the Boon card. But I don't think it's a... I don't think I can just include that in any deck. Hemsworth. We'll go right. Open up all the packs, man. <laughs> uh, I probably do want some hasty strokes. And <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> um, what was I was working for Hemsworth? Let's grab two of him just to just to have. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we got two cards to cut. Um, oh, sorry, geez. Hmm. Cut one Sylvan Refugee. So I don't think we want to be chump blocking too, too much here. Especially with removing those counters. Um. Toss a Boromir? Mainly, I'm not quite sure how 
how low we can get. And if we're running one Boromir, that should be enough, especially with how we can manipulate our draw pile. We could probably toss Killian Philly, open up some room for some other stuff. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I don't think Killian Philly could have done it last time because it's when you play them from your hand. I think I snuck them in, so I may have played them. I don't know. It didn't matter. But we'll cut these off. We got two spots left now. Our... They're not great. Did I cut out the ants or did I keep the ants? Do we have booming? Yeah, okay. Um, dump a steward. Yeah, probably dump a steward. Honestly, we may be able to dump both the stewards. Um, so we have three spots left, but I mean, we have Gandalf's staff. This, this quest feels like it's a little bit more higher paced. And so the steward of Gondor could help. We'd probably drop steward on Gandalf in this deck. Um, but yeah, I think we don't, we don't need, we don't need more than, we don't need more than one. We may not even need the one. Um, uh, how's our, uh, let's grab another unexpected courage. Cause I want an unexpected courage for Gandalf as well. If we can just drop three unexpected courages. We'll be fine because we want Gandalf to be able to use his activation because he's a 333. We could also go like the Clearbrian Stone. Give him, pump him up to a plus five or a five. And Burning Brand, I like it. Yes, Burning Brand works really well because you have to attach it to a uh, a lore hero. But Gandalf is considered to have the lore um, trait. So when a card is played this way, Gandalf's considered to have the printed of that. So you can throw Burning Brand onto um, Gandalf. And then if Gandalf is defending... Then we have the Warden to heal Gandalf, so yeah, we should be good there. I like that. Good call. Good call. Did I throw three in there, too? I think I did, too. Six, eight, ten. That's the deck. We'll see how it goes. A lot of this we can, you know, play. If we lose, we can tweak and modify because a lot of times you don't necessarily know what you're missing until you, you know, run into it. So, Let's reset this to zero. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so 23. 36 we're starting with a 36 threat <laughs> all right i like it i dig it <laughs> that's so much that's so much the weathered hills for days, the heroes pursued the remnants of the war party east from Chetwood across the northern edge of Midgewater Marshes into the wide, way, wide plains beyond. Along the way, they came upon several burnt homesteads, each, with, each was plainly the work of Orcus savagery. However, at each home, the heroes were surprised to find no bodies. Instead, they found signs of struggle and the unmistakable tracks of Orc being dragged, dragging their captives away. Dude, my Noldor starts with 37. Threat's never an issue, though. Plenty of threat reduction. Nice. Yeah, I do. Yeah, there's a lot of threat reduction in here. Gladrill is printed threat reduction. <coughs> Why would retreating orcs stop to take prisoners? Asked one of the heroes, examining the impressions on the ground. Perhaps they think to ransom their lives, answered another as he 
and emerged from the uh, charred ruins of a collapsed howl. One or two prisoners would have sufficed if that was their intent, but these orcs have taken a dozen at least, required, replied the first. Look at the markings here. The man in the doorway knelt by his companion to examine the earth more closely. After a minute, he said, I think I see an answer to this riddle. The orcs we chase are not the same that attack this home, though it is likely they are in league with each other. Look here, the prints made by this family as they struggled against their captors are at least a full day older than those of the orcs we have pursued here. The rest of the heroes agreed that he was right, but this discovery did little to ease their mood since he suggested an attack near Bree was only part of a larger plot. There was a brief silence as each member of the company contemplated what that might be. At length, one of them spoke. If orcs are in league with another, or in league together, then it's likely that the ones we hunt will lead us to their meeting place. We may hope to find those who were captured, even if we cannot rescue them. We can at least... Uh, avenge ourselves upon their captors the rest agreed as this was the only course of action and they resumed the chase the orcs trail led them to led them north and east towards the weathered hills as they marched the sky above them grew dark with clouds driven by a chill wind out of the north by the time they reached the first rocky slope of the hill was unusually cold the heroes drew their cloaks around them, but it did little to keep out the frosty air. As freezing rain began to fall on the heroes and heavy drops, one of them lifted his eyes skyward and said aloud, This is an ill omen, my friends. The weather turns against us and washes out our trail. I feel there is some evil at work that gives aid to our enemies. There was a, some murmur of agreement among the company before another spoke up. It matters not what the whence the rain came from or where the trail ends. Our quarry hides somewhere within these hills and we must find them or forsake our captives and our oath there was a hushed ring of steel as uh there was a hushed ring of steel as each of the heroes drew his weapon in silent reply the heroes pulled up their hoods and began to search the hills for the signs of the orcs Alrighty, sweet so let's go ahead and do this you pursued the remnants of an orc war party east from the hoarders of Breeland, borders of Breeland, <laughs> hoarders of Breeland, borders of Breeland into the wilderness beyond. Beyond, the trail climbs out of the lowlands and into the weathered hills. Set orc ambush and aim and form outside out of play. That's why we don't get him anymore. Orc ambush and aim and form. Okay. Make exposed ridge the active location. Exposed ridge. While exposed ridge is the active location, it gains force at the end of the refresh phase. Each player deals one damage to a character he controls. We actually may want to grab two of these Warden of Healers healing. Or just find it real fast. Because it seems like there's a lot of ping damage. And if we have the Warden, we can just kind of take care of that. Uh, add hunting the orcs in one weathered hilltop to the staging area. Weathered hilltop. Uh, weathered hilltop gets plus one uh, threat for each resource token on it. After a weathered treachery is revealed, place one resource token here. Uh, shuffle the encounter deck. This is the orc deck. Shuffle this up. Orc deck will be over here. Hunting the orcs. After an enemy is defeated, place one resource token here. Then if there are at least X resource token here, flip the orcs and place each resource on it as if on it as a savage. On Savage Counter-Attack, X is three more than the number of players in the game. So, we actually may be able to game that a little bit. I'm not too sure. As you pursue the orcs, the weather itself turns against you. Now you must contend with the elements while you hunt the enemy. First weather treachery card, each round game surge. After the active location is explored, reveal the top card of the orc deck and resolve its staging as if it was... Reveal two cards if there are three or more players. Sweet. Okay. So Exposed Ridge is the active. Let's go. We got so much. We got so much power on the table. 
the amount of like impact that these three characters had on Middle Earth was not insignificant. So. So again, we're looking for Vilia, we're looking for Wizard, and we're looking for Ninja. We're looking for pretty much everything, honestly. Um, Stargazer, great. Um, yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's a lot of cards we want. At some point, we do want to reduce our threat, but. There we are. Alrighty. So, play with the top card of your deck face up. So, does that mean that after Mulligan, like, do I, like, so if I deal these six cards as my starting hand, is this card face up? Like, do I effectively get to know what that is to choose my Mulligan? I don't know the rule. I think so. Because the, the top card of my deck is just face up. Right? So I should know what this card is. You don't think so? Why not, Astari? Come on. What are you tell me things I don't want to hear? There's Galadriums. There's Bofur. There's Vilia. And there's Gandalf Staff. Let's go. Alrighty. I got it. Doesn't matter. You have to choose your six first. I chose my six. I got Vilia and the Staff. We're good. We'll draw into Elrond's Council. I like it even more. And there's Ninja. Let's go go <laughs> how awesome let's get it oh my gosh <laughs> nice nice way way to make that question moot right <laughs> nice oh my gosh okay so we've got we're showing a one these treachery cards are gonna kind of stink we got a test of will and a hasty stroke. We got a Bofur, which I think. Now we're gonna go Gandalf and Galadriel to drop a staff here. We will exhaust the staff to give a resource here. We'll spend two resources to drop Vilia, and then we will use Vilia and Elrond. No, you know what? Hmm. Are we gonna use Vilia and Elrond to? Yeah, we are. To throw Ninja here. Okay. I would say that's a fairly decent start. I I like I like what just happened. Same in my Noldor deck. Uh certain quest for four before boost, Elrond defense for three, Glorfindel attacks for three, or more with unexpected courage. I love playing fair and perilous, so he's attacking for six or a million <laughs> or a million. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so we have Elrond's Council, which we can use later after the fact. Um, and this is face up. Northern Tracker. It's a little unfortunate. I'd rather not draw him, but here we are. Are all three rings going to hit the table in this game? The encounter deck doesn't have a chance. I don't think I have Gandalf's ring. Vilia, Ninja... I don't even remember Gandalf's ring's name right now. I don't think I have his ring yet. Yeah. Nara. Yeah. Okay, so we're showing one. Let's go ahead and quest for three with Gandalf. Showing one. Pop here. We got a one. Weather treachery. Don't like those. So we're showing two. We're going to exhaust... Galadriel and Ninja to add four here. So we quest for seven. So that clears here. We'll travel here. Okay. We'll increase our threat to 37. We'll stand up. Draw into Northern Tracker. Show Test of Will on the top of the deck. You get it somewhere in Dream Chase. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, let's, let's go Gandalf's staff to draw a test of will. 
We got Dwarven Tomb. Dang it. No one Dwarven Tomb. Well, we got two Test of Wills now. We got Galadrian's Greeting. We got Northern Tracker. Um, I want the Wizard's Pipe. Where's my pipe? Because it goes on certain organ of nice. That makes sense. Yeah, I totally forgot about that story. Oh, okay. What are we doing with our lives? I guess we could go. We could go Elrond's Council, grab it with Dwarven Tomb, and Elrond's Council again. That's a threat reduction of six plus two. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm really okay with that at this point. So let's go ahead and play Elrond's Council. We'll give plus um, one to Gandalf. Reduce our threat by three. One, two, three. We'll go ahead and Gandalf to we'll play Dwarven Tomb to grab Elrond's Council. Now we're seeing Unexpected Courage, which is significantly better for Vilia. We'll play Elrond's Council again. One, two, three. Now Gandalf set a five. We'll go Vilia, Elrond for Unexpected Courage. Ready, Elrond. We'll see a booming int come into play. I'm honestly not sure if I'd ever use it with Gandalf. Maybe in game, but that's about it. I won't ruin it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we got a five here. Okay, we'll go ahead and quest for five. We're showing one. Flip into a two, Sheltered Valley. While Sheltered Valley is the active location, it gains response uh, when... Uh, he, when Shelter Valley is explored, remove all damage from one character. Remove one resource token from a mission objective to travel there. Actually, I think you're right. Back at setup, as soon as the three heroes are in play, Gandalf's ability. Nice. Yeah. You're yeah, right 50% of the time. Yeah. No, and so, like, that just gives a lot of. Oh, wait, hold on. After the active location is explored. So, I should have done this last time. So, let's retcon this. After he attacks and destroys an ally, return it to the staging area. This actually came in. I guess we'll take an undefended attack. So three. I will throw the three damage on Gandalf. I think that's just worst case scenario and how how I can. Yeah. That's the best way I can think to remedy that. Okay. So I... Yeah, so we did this. We quested for five. We're showing three. I don't think I actually want to bring another one out. So let's throw two here. Um, we will defend this attack here. So three. Assign X damage among characters where X is the number of quest cards in play. So it's one. Uh, we'll throw it on Galadriel. So, okay. And he's hanging out. We will use Galadriel and Ninja. Reduce our threat, draw a booming int. Hey, there's the wizard pipe. Let's go. Nice. Okay. End of the round, we'll increase our threat to 31. We'll go ahead and unexhaust everyone draw into the wizard's pipe we'll see an arwen on top of the deck i like that pass out some money um let's uh glad you're to play wizard's pipe so we can exhaust Wizard's Pipe to switch a card in our hand with the top card of our deck. Uh, I want to kill this guy. We can... Ooh, this is, this is a good call. So let's go ahead and Wizard's Pipe to swap Arwen with Northern Tracker. And then we've got Vilia and Unexpected Courage to pull the Northern Tracker into play. Northern Tracker does not need to exhaust to uh, quest this round. 
but we can still quest and place progress here. And then Northern Tracker can defend here pretty easily. Um, oh, and there's our Warden. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We actually may just grab Warden right now with uh, Ninja. I mean, our Gandalf Staff actually can just do that. Or discard a Shadow card from a non-unique enemy. I may actually just discard the Shadow card. Because we can grab Warden next turn and be probably fine. Yeah, so let's go here. Let's go two from Elrond to play Arwen. We can probably push here. Yeah, I think we can quest out here. We'll get another enemy. We can cancel one of them. We have a hasty stroke. We have a lot of kind of mitigation that we can play with. And then we can we can block. We'll choose, you know, the northern tracker here. We can block here. And then we can deal six damage with Gandalf. Oh, we can't really deal six damage. Ugh. We could not quest Sneak Bofer in. Bofer and Galadriel don't really like each other. I'm just now noticing that. Because Bofer comes into play exhausted. We're at 31. Bofer allows us to kill here. Or we just don't quest out and we don't get another one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're showing three. We're not going to quest. We're going to pull in a a two. Are we supposed to put that into the deck? Each enemy card with the Agmar arcs. Nope. Okay, so we're good. So, didn't think about that. Uh, he cannot, after he engages a player, it makes an immediate attack. I hate that. Ugh. Oh, so we so we quested for three. We got two, four, five. Well, Galadriel, Bofer, exhausted. Oh yeah, he's exhausted, so he can't he can't swing back anyways. That's fine. That's fine. We're we're fine. Uh, okay, so he will engage us. After a enemy is defeated, place one resource token here. Okay, so deal out shadow cards. We will defend here, and we will Gandalf staff to discard this shadow card. Okay, uh, so we're we're good there. This is an attack of two. We will defend with. Can we defend with Elrond and still kill it? We can. We'll defend with Elrond here. So two, no shadow effect. Then we will have Gandalf swing and kill the cornered orc, placing a resource token here. Okay. So we still have him out. There's a lot of enemies, but we're we're building. I don't want to push too, too soon, but we're fine. Okay, so we'll increase our threat. Stand up. Weather treachery. Oh, and these also both have one because of the Northern Tracker. We get the heal damage, which probably is not going to be too, too big of an issue. Because we're about to get Warden out on the table. But let's go ahead and stand up. Draw. What do we got? Unexpected Courage. Nice. Okay, sweet. Pass out money.
Okay, we're gonna go Vilia and Unexpected Courage to... I'm gonna drop this on Ninja. Or on Galadriel, I should say. There's the Mirror of Galadriel. Okay. We'll go ahead and use Galadriel to reduce our threat and draw a card. Master the Forge. Okay. We'll go Wizard's Pipe to swap Master with Warden of Healing. We will 1-1 one, one to play Warden of Healing. There's the un another unexpected courage. I like that. We will not exhaust Warden of Healing yet because you can quest for free this round with Galadriel. So we will wait until after he like commits to the quest. Then we'll heal. Um, okay. Um, is there anything that we need to be doing? Um, I think we're just kind of hanging out. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go ahead and quest for one. Which we'll add. Add. Oh wait, is this after a location is explored? No, this is after an enemy is defeated. We're oh, this will just pull in a lot of orcs all at one time. <laughs> Oh geez, um, we may we may play around with because that's not a force response. We may play around with that. We'll go two with Arwen. We'll give a defense to Elrond. We'll go two here. We'll go one with the Warden. So that puts us at six. We're showing three. Flip into. Weather. Each player deals one damage to a hero he controls. Attach uh, cold to the current quest. Treat each damage character's print box as if it were blank, except for keywords and traits. Ugh. We're going to play a test of will. We're going to get rid of that. It still surges. And to exposed ridge, that weather card gets two surge. Why does it get two surge? The first weather gains surge. I think it's just one surge. The first weather treachery card each round gains surge. So I think I think it's just one surge. Unless I'm missing something. Um that being said, after a weather treachery is revealed, place one resource token. Gets one here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Then. Okay, so we're good. So we're showing four now. And then this comes in. Uh, while it is the active location, it gains force. At the end of the refresh phase, each player deals one damage to a character he controls. I don't like that. And so that is three. Uh, so seven. We quested for six. What do we want to do here? Um, we can raise our threat. We can go up to 32. Yeah. Okay, we'll quest unsuccessfully here. That's fine. We will use Warden of Healing to heal here. That actually may not have been too bad because we, we could have cleared it in two rounds. We would have been fine, actually. Oh, we have another test. Well, we're fine. Um, we got one here. 
Gandalf's staff is going to probably discard that. We have a hasty stroke. We can't pay for the hasty stroke. We'll discard that. It wasn't a thing. So we're good. Um, we're exhausted here. We will swing for three. Deal one damage here. We already did Galadriel. And I didn't want to add because I didn't want another enemy at this point. We probably could have done that, but here we are. Stand up. Yeah, this is I can see how this can be this can be pretty rough. Okay. So increase our threat to 33. We'll draw into unexpected courage and we will see another master of the forge. Pass out some money. Um, we'll spend one from Galadriel to play Mirror of Galadriel. We'll go ahead and use Mirror of Galadriel to look at the top ten. Master, Burning Brand, Greeting, Hasty Stroke, Steward 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Honestly, Sylvan Refugee would be pretty nice here. Uh, Steward would be really nice here. Northern Tracker would be really nice, especially because I can swap it and I can play it for free. So really, we're not necessarily looking at low cost because we have the Wizard's Pipe and I can swap and play for free. I can cheat again. Uh, Steward helps us ramp. S Sylvan is probably best for this specific situation. S Treebeard also helps us ramp. Northern Tracker helps us, just leads us to our doom pretty much really quickly. Because we, if we clear, we're going to just get a lot of enemies. Um, let's go with Steward. Shuffle these in. Yeah. Because if we can grab a Steward, we can throw Steward on to Gandalf and feel pretty good. Okay, so we got two, four, six, seven. So we need to shuffle. We don't have the. Ah, uh, the int. Sad. Oh, yeah. I, I needed to play the int. Oops. There's a Vilia. We don't need a Vilia. Um, so we will go ahead and do this. We will Wizard's Pipe swap Vilia with Steward. We will Vilia Unexpected Courage to play Steward. Give Gandalf two. We got some. Oh, well, there's the Sylvan Refugee. Let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> go one for the Sylvan Refugee. Um. Elrond's Council. I am happy to draw into that. We'll go ahead and. Draw into Elrond's Council. And we see a tree beard. Nice. Okay. There's so much manipulation that you can do with this deck. It, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we'll be able to drop tree beard next turn, either with the staff or with Wizard's Pipe. This is uh once per phase. We'll go ahead and play Elrond's Council. Reduce our third by three. One, two, three. Give Sylvan Refugee plus one. I think at this point we do probably want to quest through this just or else we're going to get location locked. Um, we have a test of will. We have a hasty stroke. We have Galadrian's greeting. We have another Vilia, which we don't need and unexpected courage. Unexpected courage. We can drop on Gandalf next turn. Um, but let's, uh, let's just, let's quest. Let's quest hard. Um, we will go Northern tracker here. So, just start adding some of these here. So, if we continue to trigger Northern Tracker's response, it'll be, this will be next turn, second turn from now, third turn from now. Next turn, yeah. 
So we can clear these in order and bring one enemy out at a time. And we should be fine with that. We need to kill this guy this turn, though. And so that's kind of... And once we have Treebeard, we have a pretty good defender. So I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go three. One, two, three. One. Go one, two. We're going to chump block with the Sylvan Refugee here. Uh, we'll give Elrond a plus one defense. Because we will have another enemy coming out. So we're going to have two enemies coming out. Um, Warden of Healing is going to stay. Bofur, I think, may stay. I don't think we need to quest that hard. We're at six. We're showing uh, two, four, seven. We're at six. We're going to go plus four for ten. We probably do need to quest a little bit harder. Okay. Go two. So we'll go eight. We're showing seven. Flip into a cornered orc. We're going to see so many orcs. Yikes. Oh, and it immediately attacks. I forgot to do that again. Um, okay, we'll do the last one. We'll take it undefended. So it's going to be two. It's plus one for each damage character the defending controls. I don't remember. I really don't remember. We'll give it a plus two. Um, actually, no. What we will do is we'll have just said we spent this. And I'm sorry. I just... Yeah. I feel bad about that, but here we are. So we'll throw two damage on Galadriel. I don't know how to remedy that. Um, okay. Oh, gross. Okay, so we quested for eight. We have two, four, six, nine. I'm not I'm not gonna add it. I'm not gonna add it. We're gonna increase our threat. This is gonna engage. He's gonna make an attack. Um We will block with Elrond. No shadow effect. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. We'll deal with shadow and cards. I don't like all the attacks that are being made. We'll block here with the refugee. Can be three, no shadow effect. This comes out. And then we got a two attack here. We don't have a hasty stroke. Um, we can't really, we can't defend with anybody and still kill them. That's annoying. Um, uh, oh, actually what we'll do is we'll cancel this. And then we'll take it undefended. We'll throw two here on Elrond. We'll attack here. Close here. That there. Let's go ahead and Warden of Healing to heal both of these guys. And we're good. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. He's still here. Treebeard will be nice to start defending. I mean, he's pretty slow, but here we are. Um, okay, so we'll increase our threats. We'll stand up. There's a really good healing card from Dream Chaser that's a zero cost ally. All it can heal. That, yeah, that seems really good. I'd take that every day. Big fan of that. Um, okay. We increased our threat. We're going to draw into Treebeard. What's going to be on the top? Oh, another Treebeard. Uh, we'll probably mirror Galadriel at that point, right? Like, spend one lore resource to heal three damage from a character. I think I like Warden of Healing better. Warden of Healing is spend one to heal one on two different characters, but Elrond increases that by one. It makes it a four. But Warden of Healing heals for four on two. It'd be interesting. I think it kind of depends on the hero makeup. Can it block? Can the, can the ally block?
Um, let's go Unexpected Courage and Vilia to throw Treebeard onto the table, exhausted. Comes in with a Galadrian's Greeting. Let's go ahead and Wizard's Pipe. Swap Galadrium with Unexpected Courage. Then we will use... I never passed out money. <laughs> that helps. Passing out money helps. We'll spend two to play Unexpected Courage on Gandalf. Oh! Clearian Stone. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Heal or die, pretty much. <laughs> oh, it's a 0001 stat? That's funny. It can't out of block and has zero willpower. That's really funny. Uh, I also have Glorfindel in your lineup, so I can heal two with Auron. That is cool. I think it, it, I think that would make a lot more sense in like multiplayer. I think a multi, that would be a really cool multiplayer card. Like I think smaller amounts of healing is more valuable in this game than like a big chunk. Shall I send your deck for sailing test? Does not mean a word. Does not mean anything to me. <laughs> um, I guess we'll go ahead and unexpected courage to reduce our threat and draw the stone. And we'll flip into a Vilia. Don't need a Vilia. Oh, we can... Hmm. We okay with losing... I don't... I really don't want to lose the stone. Gladrium's greeting is not great to lose. We could... Let's uh, let's try it. Let's go Mirror Gladriel. One, two, three. Stargazer, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to take that Stargazer because that fixes all of our problems. You'll find out. She's a perfect card for sailing test. Nice. That's exciting. Okay. We got Boromir on top. We got two, four, six, eight cards. Shuffle all of this up. Oh, don't lose me anything good. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's go. Uh, you know what? We're going to hang on to Stargazer. I'm okay drawing into Boromir. And I want to hang on to that for the test of will. Um, hmm. All righty. We'll probably cancel the shadow effect again here. We're going to have two enemies. And so I think our first block. We have a Elrond that can block and we have a Gandalf that can block with the unexpected courage. So. I'm feeling pretty good about the blocks that can take care of two of them. Gandalf can swing. We do need another attacker. We also don't need to technically get one this turn. We can we can hang out and try. Like if we go R win, we don't clear this. We're showing two, four, seven. R win quest for six with Galadriel. But then that gives us the attack to take this guy out. I think we're just gonna roll. I we we need to we need to. We're gonna we're gonna go with Northern Tracker. And we'll go here, here. This'll clear. So while it's the active arched, remove one resource token from the mission objective. And then we're going to bring in when revealed, either discard one ally from player or reveal an additional encounter card. Huh.
Unsubscribe. I don't want it. Encounter card. Or discard an ally. I really don't want to discard an ally. Um, an ally. We could like toss Bofer. We could toss Bofer. Oh, and he's oh he engages. I thought that said forty five. I was like, oh, we we're not we're never gonna engage him. Um, we could toss Bofer, and then if we absolutely need him back, we can dwarven to him, dwarven tomb him. But I don't think we'll need him back. Um, let's toss Bofer. Okay, so we're requesting for one. That's three. We're at 32. We have Galadrium's greeting. We can we can we're, we can quest for six, and we're showing two, four, seven. We could just take the hit. Because we have one defender, two defender. I think we're just gonna we're gonna take the hit to threat. So we're gonna uh, when revealed, raise each player threat by the total or by this of the active location, which is going to be two, because that has one resource token. And then um, we quested for. I'm going to exhaust Galadriel in here to raise it by four. One, two, three, four. And then we've got. Oh, wait, shoot. We quest successfully. Two, four, seven. Or not successful, not unsuccessful. We quest. We did it. So, okay. So we're at 34. This guy's going to engage. We've got shadow cards here. I want... Uh, Treebeard is going to be so sweet to have back. Um, let's go ahead and Gandalf staff this guy. We'll defend with Gandalf here. We'll defend with Elrond against this one. Attacking me gets plus one for each damage character. Okay, so he's attacking for three. We have four defense, so we're good. Uh, Gandalf will ready. Gandalf will swing and deal one more damage here. Slowly but surely. Alrighty. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I want Hemsworth. Sorry, good call. I, I need Hemsworth. Let's go ahead and uh, end. We'll increase our threats. Unexhaust. I think at this point we're probably wanting to spend some time clearing some of these uh, enemies. We're at 35. We draw into Boromir. Flip into it. Test will. Um, pass out money. Sweet. Alrighty, let's go ahead and um, Gladriel, draw a test of will. We got ah, uh, there's Hemsworth. Nice. Well, Wizard's pipe and throw probably Boromir. No, the Cerebrian Stone. No, we don't need. We don't need the. Oh, Treebeard gets money. Treebeard's rich. I'll never get over how nice that playmat is. <laughs> it, it's beautiful. I like it a lot. <laughs> we could go Galadrians at this point. Um, I'd re no, I'd rather they get no. I I'd rather we're wizard piping to swap into Boromir here. Then we're going to pop Boromir into play. We got a dwarven tomb already. It's okay. Um. We'll go one to play Hemsworth. We're going to exhaust to look at the top card of this encounter deck. Okay, so it, it's exposed Ridge. So it's a three. Okay, so now, now we are at a spot where we can quest exactly how much we need. So we don't push. 
and we don't need to trigger northern tracker and we can clear these up almost every <laughs> almost every stream yeah right um we would go dwarven tomb we could go and grab i guess elrond's council or bofer for I kind of like I kind of like Elrond's council. Um, oh yeah, we have Stargazer. I totally forgot about Stargazer. We're gonna drop Stargazer into play. <laughs> we'll exhaust Stargazer. They look at the top five. Booming, Vilia Hasty Stroke, and a Burning Brand. Perfect. We're going to throw Burning Brand on the top. We'll draw into Hasty Stroke. We got Booming, and then Dwarven Tomb. Yeah. Okay. Then we will use two here to play Burning Brand. He's considered to have the printed um, lore resource at that time. So now whenever Gandalf defends, we can toss a shadow card. So we can, with Gandalf's stats, toss two shadow cards every single turn. Which means that that hasty stroke is not as valuable. But here we are. Um, Sweet. This is the... Okay, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Um, Alright, so we're showing... I absolutely love your certain silver heart Galdor combo. I'm so excited to get the Dream Tracers. It it is I think the most beautiful looking of the of them out there. Okay. So we're showing three four. We know we're gonna get to seven. So we need to quest for seven. We can quest we can quest for more than seven because of weathered hilltop. So let's go two for Arwen. Which Gladriel will add. We'll go. No, Bormir is a three attack. Um, let's go Warden of Healing. Yeah. So that's going to be three. We're going to use Galadriel to bump that to seven. This is going to reveal nothing. Oh, these will also trigger at the same time, which is a little annoying. Okay, we're going to deal these out. Also, Arwen gives Elrond a uh, plus defense. Um, Gandalf's staff will discard this one. Gandalf will defend and discard this. Oh, to cancel a shadow effect. Okay, so Gandalf will defend against this too. It does not have a shadow effect, so we don't have to discard or defend that. Okay. Now we have a lot of attack. We have a lot of options here. Um, and I think we clear as much as we can. So if we do four damage here, we're good. So that's Northern Tracker and Elrond. Oh, and then we're taking two undefended. So we're defending here, two undefended here. Um, so Elrond and Northern Tracker kill here, which adds one. Can't help. Look at it. <laughs> um, and then we have to do six there. So this is three, six, which will kill here. Place one here. What happens again? Oh, this is only after the active location is explored. <laughs> so I can clear these and be fine with it.
This has not been a clean game. I apologize. Um, what we will do is we will remove one of these because one of those came out from clearing that. So we'll just take all the negatives without any of the positives. How about that? Shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and, and the orc deck into the encounter deck. Reveal orc ambush, and even fawn and add them to the staging area. Okay. Yeah. So, I I can clear those and have absolutely no issue. That's way better. Does anyone play a clean game of Lord of the Rings? Not this guy. That's really funny. That's really funny. Alrighty, cool. Well, yeah. So I, th I think that that's fair. I think that that's a fair retcon, especially not the first. That's one of the things that I liked about. I I, I enjoy doing these streams this way more. Now that I like am building the deck, um, the first playthroughs are often more of a learning experience before a valid attempt can be made. That's fair. We may run through it again, just as a. Why not, right? We'll see. We'll see how this turns up. Okay. So increase our threat to 36. We will unexhaust everybody. Okay. Uh, threat, money. Draw into Hasty Stroke. You know that Booming Int is next. Oh yeah, Tree Beer gets some money. Let's go ahead and Galadriel to decrease our threat. Draw Booming Int into Dwarven Tomb. Let's go ahead and use Wizard's Pipe to swap Dwarven Tomb with uh, Galadrium's Greeting. We will use Gandalf's ability to spend three to play the Galadrium's Greeting, reducing our threat by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not the right thing. That's my scoop counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to 29. Um... Two from Treebeard to play Booming Int. Avengers play Exhausted. Let's go Stargazer. Vilia Hasty Stroke. Northern Tracker. Let's go Gandalf Staff and Stargazer. Okay, so let's go Northern Tracker. We'll draw into the Hasty Stroke. And we'll bury this kind of stuff. So. We'll go Vilia and Unexpected Courage to bring in Northern Tracker. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and check and see what that top card is. Uh, each player deals one damage to a hero who controls. Attach it to um, the current quest. Every hero does damage. That's actually not too bad. That will surge, which is annoying. But we're about to clear a ton of stuff. And we can we can bring out... Uh, we'll clear this this turn. So we can start farming some more orcs. Or hunting for them. And we should be good. River Song is busted, knowing what's coming. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You're about to go through the Temple of the Deceived. And I'm 100% sure I'm going to mess that up. It's like... Set up as an Arkham map. <laughs> That's crazy. Alrighty. Uh, so, Northern Tracker does not need to quest to... Def uh, or does not need to exhaust to quest this round. And so, that will clear here. Uh, at the end of the refresh phase... After it's, it's the active location, this clears. Um, and then one goes here. Okay. Okay, so that's one.
Uh, two. Four. Or, up to four. We'll give Gandalf a defense. Um. One, two. That puts us at six. We're showing two. Who knows? We're showing three. We'll go Adriel, so we're good. Okay, so this comes out. Uh, each player deals one damage to a hero he controls. That's going to be Gandalf. Um, attached to the current quest. Counts as a condition. Uh, so they're blank. And then this comes out. Hey, it's another cornered orc. After he engages a player, makes an immediate attack. That's fine. Um, so we're showing a 3-5. We are going to go here, Warden of Healing, to heal both of these characters. So now they have text boxes again. Um, Ninja and Galadriel will add four. One, two, three, four. Oh, this will push us if we kill both of these orcs, actually. One, two, three, four. Are we fine with that? I'd like to have some. Let's not. Let's not do that, Ben. So we're requesting for six. We're showing... Um, five. So we'll add one here. Uh, this gets one because of the weather that surged. This will engage us. It will make an attack. Gandalf staff will discard this from play. We'll defend with this northern tracker. No. The normal attack, we will defend with Gandalf. Uh, attacking enemy gets plus one if this attack destroys the character. It actually does not matter, so we don't even need to use Burning Brand. Unexpected Courage will ready Gandalf, and then Gandalf will slay the orc, giving us plus one up here. Now, yeah, sweet. Now, next turn we'll clear that, we'll clear this, we'll bring a one-man show. Yeah, <laughs> Gandalf, Gandalf is so good. Um, okay, sweet. So let's go ahead and stand up. And I think we're kind of ready to just kill some stuff. We have a really nice army out. Alrighty. We'll draw into Hasty Stroke. Increase our threat to 30. Um, pass out money. Treebeard gets paid. Don't forget about Treebeard, Nelson. Got another stargazer. We're just going to pipe the stargazer with the stone. We'll spend two to play the stone onto Gandalf. I didn't realize Burning Brand was restricted. So we can't play Slyrian Stone on or Clearian Stone on Gandalf. What a strange restricted item. Huh. So we will go this on. Elrond. Cool. <laughs> that's that's fine. That's fine. Oh wait, hold on. You just add the plus so you can actually add it here. Um Yeah, you can add this and then whenever you exhaust Gladriel, you add it into because it's not the printed, it's just uh her entire uh willpower. So now she's at a six. Plus 60, Tron. Let's go. Nice. We'll use a Stargazer to see. There's a Refugee. There's a Northern Tracker and an Elrond's Council. We'll throw the uh, Northern Tracker first because we'll Unexpected Courage. Elrond's Council will draw into. Sylvan Refugee we will draw into and then we'll bury the rest. Bring out the Northern Tracker here. Elrond's Council will use Galadriel to reduce our threats and then draw into that. Do have another Galadriel's Greeting and a lot of money to pay for it. Um, There's no reason for us to play it now. It's an action card. We can play it later. I'm going to hang on to probably Elrond's Council for next turn. Because we'll just quest really hard out. And we should be fine.
Alrighty, Hemsworth, what are we saying? Weather. Each player assigns X damage one characters for X is the number of quest cards in play. One damage. That's fine. Okay, so we'll quest here with one. Which we'll clear here. You don't have to exhaust them. And we need to we'll, we'll we'll easily quest out. This is at least seven. And so I think we're actually fine not questing with any more. Um We'll quest with Arwen. So that puts us at three. We'll give Gandalf a defense. Okay. So this comes out. Each player assigns X damage where X is the number of... Uh, oh. Oh, among where X is the number of quest cards in play. I thought it was where X is the number of characters in play. It's like, ah! Okay, so that's just one damage. We'll throw it on... Nor the tracker. No, we're gonna throw it on Treebeard. No. Uh that this counters the the ants really hard, but we'll throw it on booming. We'll throw it on Treebeard. Yeah. Throw it on the northern tracker. Fine. Whatever. And then that surges into. When revealed, assign X damage among characters, where X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Um, so that's two. So we'll go one here, and then one here. And that does not surge. And so we we quest for three. We don't even have to use Galadriel here. So this is going to clear. Which reveals this. After it attacks and destroys an ally, return it to the staging area. Engages us at 30. We don't technically have to engage it. We will engage it. Um, is going to go here. We will defend with Gandalf for four. Um, deal one damage to the defending character. We will burning brand that. Cancel that. We'll stand up. And we will... We'll Gandalf staff real quick to pass out a money to Auron. Um, we'll swing for three. We need six total to kill. Okay. So that places the fourth here. Then if there are at least X resources here, flip hunting the orcs and place each resource token that was on here on Savage Counterattack. After Savage Counterattack enters play, advance to stage 2A. After an enemy attacks and destroys a character, discard one resource token from Savage Attack. This gets discarded. So we need four here. Go to 2A. You've hunted the orcs so to their secret gathering place on the northern edge of weather hills the old dunedain border border fort of aemon Forn, with nowhere left to run the orcs turn and fight with a desperate savagery when revealed in the current phase shuffle the encounter discard pile in the orc deck into the encounter deck reveal orc ambush and aemon farm and place them in the staging area so orc ambush Several orcs spring upon you from their hiding place. Their surprise attack puts you on the defensive. You must fight to gain the orc upper hand. Every orc gets plus one for everything. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard power for an orc enemy. Put it into play and gauge with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. Now the combat phase is over, so... Um, we'll take one of these guys. He'll immediately attack, which we will just block here. Hold on, hold on. He needs to attack. I just need to remember that. But these are all getting shuffled in. And then, oh, he's attacking for three. We'll block the tree beard. Mean to player card effects. While it is the active location, it gains force. After an orc enemy is added to the staging area, it makes an immediate attack against the first player. The players cannot win while this is in play. Yikes, that's gross. Okay, so we need to, uh, while it's the active location, it 
It, get, it has that. This is... Every damaged character gets minus one willpower. Already we weary from days of travel through harsh winter, you are hard-pressed to match the orc's ferocity. You must rally your men and s or see them fall. Each damaged character gets minus one willpower. At the beginning of the quest phase, either discard one resource token from Savage Counterattack or reveal an additional encounter card this phase. The players defeat the stage, they win. Okay, so he's attacking. Uh, we will block with Elrond. So he's attacking for three. Attacking him gets plus one. If this destroys an ally, it does not. That's a one damage here. Um, okay. We will go ahead and one of these action windows heal and heal. And we don't get to attack back, but we will stand up. Alrighty. Increase our threat to 30. Pass out some money. Draw the Sylvan. Oh, Gandalf gets more money. Oh, and Treebeer gets money. Let's go. All right, um, we got so much going on here. Let's go ahead and use one from Galadriel to play the Sylvan Refugee, who's going to be our blocker this round. We'll go ahead and use Stargazer. Three, four, five. Running close to the end of our deck. We got Stargazer, Master of the Forge, Dwarven Tomb. Ooh, we'll probably, yeah. Go Dwarven Tomb into our hand. And yep, Master of the Forge. Actually, we don't want Sylvan Refugee to block for us because then we have to remove counters from Savage Counterattack. Um, Alrighty, so Gladriel will reduce our threat, draw Dwarven Tomb. We will spend one to play Dwarven Tomb and then go find Glad Dream's Greeting. We'll spend, I never unexhausted any of these. <laughs> spend the three to play Galadrian's Greeting, reduce our threat by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to 23. Uh, we'll use Wizard's Pipe to swap Stargazer with Galadrian's Greeting. We'll go ahead and use Unexpected Courage Vilia to play Galadrian's Greeting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to 17. Holy board state. <laughs> hey, Fodder, how's it going? Yeah, right? Uh, it's a it's a powerhouse deck. It's a powerhouse deck. It's fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, this game is just too much. It's a, it is a lot. It is a lot. Um, but I believe in you. Um. Alrighty, so we will quest for two. We're questing on Orc Ambush, by the way. Uh, we're going to quest for two. We're showing four. We got plus six with Galadriel. So that's going to be eight. Um, um, we'll 
do we'll reduce one here so we're only revolving one encounter card um we're gonna keep the northern trackers around just because they're not great questers we got gandalf's arwen i never unexhausted but we'll throw her so that's four total we'll give gandalf a plus one defense we're showing four we need to quest for at least eight um Go one, two, three. We'll go one with the Northern Tracker. That puts us at eight, up to 12, revolving one. After it attacks and destroys an ally, return it to the staging area. If my dumb brain can handle it, you can too. <laughs> so that shows seven. Uh, we're throwing eight. We're going to exhaust Ninja and Galadriel. Oh, yeah, I had Hemsworth. I could have. Whatever. Uh, to add four, one, two, three, four. That puts us at 12. We're showing 7. So we clear this. Um, we'll go ahead and quest. We'll travel here. So this is after an orc enemy is added to the staging area. It makes an immediate attack against the first player. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and engage here. Deal out encounter cards. We will Gandalf staff to discard this one. I've tried. I always go back to champions when I can't comprehend what's going on. I made it to the second scenario in the saga box and just kept getting crushed. The one with the, it. It's a hard game. It's a really really tough game. Um, and this guy is attacking for two. We will defend with Gandalf for four. No shadow effects, so no burning brand. Um, Gandalf will swing back and kill here. And then we have to deal six. We have two, six, kill here. Alrighty. Stand up. draw will increase our threats we will pass out money we already drew um increase our threats at 18 that's so dumb <laughs> Alrighty. uh oh tree beer gets money we'll stargazer we got vilia staff Ninja, Hemsworth, and Galadriams. Alrighty, so we don't really like any of these. We cannot play four of these cards. But we can swap them. So let's go Galadriams on top. Um, then it really doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll go... Actually, we're just, we're just going to spend the three from Gandalf. And play Gladium's Greeting, which is reducing our threat by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down to 12. It is very difficult. If it, was, if it was as easy to set up and run through a game as champions, I'd blow champions out of the water, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. It, it is fiddly. I mean, like, they, they learned a lot from the design of this game. So, we're just going to quest as hard as we possibly can here. Um, so, to help us do that, let's go ahead and spend 1. To play Dwarven Tomb. To go find Bofer. Right? Yeah, Bofer. Um, I'll spend two, three to play Bofer. He doesn't exhaust a quest this round. Elrond's Council reduce her threat by three plus one. And... I think that's kind of all we can do quest wise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we will start counting. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
One, two. Gandalf gets plus one. One, two. One. Let's see what's coming. Hemsworth. Doom two. Remove each damaged character from the quest. Um, that's fine. Remove that. Um, one. One. So we need to quest for 26 to win. We got 13. Can we actually get there? I don't know if we can. Um, unexpected courage. And Ninja for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts us at 19. One. Nope. We're at 20. Dang it. <laughs> Gladrian's greeting down to 12. What threat? Yeah, right? Ugh, it's like he's throwing a giant hobbit party with music and fireworks and beer at the gates of <laughs> our door. And sorry, I still can't see him. 12 threat. <laughs> down to 9. Oh, we also got the plus 1 from uh, uh, Ron's council. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm cool. Okay, so this reveals Doom 2. We clear this. 21, so we place 15 here. All right. All right. End of the round, we'll increase our threats. Stand up. Yeah, Hemsworth is dumb. Hemsworth is a great call. I think it was Astari who suggested that Hemsworth is dumb. Alrighty. Increase our threat to 13. Oh no! Draw into Hemsworth. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's coming. Got a three. Alright, so we need to quest for eight. Do you think we can do it? Quest for three. We'll have Gandalf and Galadriel. For nine, three, clear, game, nice. Nice, yeah. This this deck is, this deck is crazy. This deck is crazy. I mean, Gandalf and Elrond together. Did you see it, Beast Snow? Did you see it? Gandalf and Elrond together are just an incredible combo. Elrond playing the top card from the deck, Gandalf playing with the face up. So you just get to see, and then Stargazer just fixing all of that. And then Galadriel. Galadriel honestly didn't even need to be a part of it, but like I think maybe a better deck. Galadriel had a lot of card draw, which was nice, and a lot of questing. But like with with the allies, I don't even know if you need that much quest. I mean, the questing was really nice actually. So, like I was thinking, like maybe you remove Galadriel and throw in. No, actually, you know what? I do think maybe removing Galadriel and throwing in um, Glorifindel. No, the threat. We didn't even care about the threat. We ended on thirteen. We're fine. We are fine. Cool. Sweet. Alrighty, there is game happy friday everybody i hope you have a fantastic weekend thanks for hanging out and watching some lord of the rings next stream will be on monday we're going to be doing some marvel champions on monday and yeah so look for the schedule i'll post the schedule pretty much everywhere that i normally post the schedule on sunday but i will see you all on mon actually wait hold on actually i think we're gonna do i think we're gonna do lord of the rings on monday because next friday is the release of the marvel champions box and so Fridays when I would normally be doing Lord of the Rings, I think I'm going to be doing it on Monday because I'm going to be streaming Champions on Friday. So uh, keep that because that that may be slightly in flux. It may be Wednesday. I haven't quite figured all of that out, but thank you so very much. Hey Jess, how's it going? Uh, hi Nelson. Bye Nelson. <laughs> Thanks again, Nelson. Thanks everyone else. Thank you all for hanging out. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you all later. Peace.